And maybe Thank I should first of all get your thoughts on the broad trend we're seeing in the, in the market. It's, it's not at all surprising that we continue to see the market trade within a very small range. But your thoughts on the volumes that we're seeing, um, they continue to be below 2 billion, uh, 2 billion naira per day in terms of value traded. Yeah, thank you. Well, good afternoon. Um, it's just expected uh, the market at this particular time of the year in November normally experiences such a lull in activities, and it's not um, 2012 is not a deviation from from all, from the mean. And, um, and and as Rado mentioned, the appreciation we saw today was as a result of either capitalized stocks like Dangote Cement, Assets Bank, Senate Bank, and Jam Bureau's Nestle. Uh, so the market is just reacting to the to to, to the normal trend. It's just uh, respect a lot of activities as we've been seeing them. We haven't lucky. We haven't seen pockets of gains here and there. Mm -hmm. Usually we don't normally see a decline. Okay, and then of course there's a lot of news around GSK these days. Um, Forty-eight naira is the price at which the parent company is offering to buy shares from shareholders. Of course, shareholders and the courts have to approve that transaction. So in your view, do you think we're going to see the stock price settle at forty-eight naira? It's currently at forty-five naira. Um, well, I, I feel the stock will cross the 48 Naira band. If you look at what is going to, go, going to happen after the parent company acquired 80%, I'm going to have about 191 million shares in issue from an outstanding share of about 356 million shares. Which, and if you look at the historical 52 uh, year to date average trade of this of Glasgow Smith clients, about, it's about it's less than a million, less than 500,000 actually, about 448 million, 448,000 shares, sorry, traded every day. So right. we're going to see, you know, increased demand, you know, limited supply, and the share price can only go up, you know, from that, from that, from that. Right, so a little logic. A little like what we're seeing in the likes of Nestle, I guess. Um, some yes. some companies just simply don't have that many shares trading out there. Okay, let's yeah. move on to the um, downstream petroleum marketing sector and perhaps your thoughts on the impact, if any, that we're seeing in terms of the share price of companies in that sector as we continue to await the New Peng's decision on the threatened strike. Of course, they have threatened to go on strike tomorrow. If they do, clearly that is going to impact those companies. Yeah, well, the average the average fall in, in the petrol marketing in the sector, you know, is about 39 percent year to date, which is a negative return they've had in terms of appreciation in prices, of depreciation in prices. Um, you know, that, that sector has been bereft with a lot of irregularities, a lot of you know, um, corruption, a lot of that, and you, you know, with the whole subsidy saga and the rest yeah. of the delaying payment, you know, to to the keep people that it's have been government yeah. there to, to yeah to check and, and be sure. That, that the claims were, 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 were real. And if you understand, some companies like Ohanda have actually expanded output, expanded capacity, and you hope that the petroleum industry bill will be passed. That again has been delayed. Have you noticed what Fitch said? Uh, one of the reasons why uh, it would downgrade the Nigerian stable hard look in the future is if uh, there's, there's a clog in the wheel of reform, the macroeconomic reform, particularly in the oil sector privatization. Right. And so downstream oil sector privatization. So that sector has just been bedeviled, you know, by 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 the lack of clear clarity in terms of the, the, the future future pattern of, of what we should expect in that sector. And that has delayed investment. That has, you know, you know, combined with um, 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 combined with a whole lot of factors, you, you know, going in that sector. Particularly, if you even notice that even the whole sector, though it, it has improved its contribution to GDP, having had negative growth, a negative growth in the GDP figure, I believe, the National Bureau of Statistics over time, growing about 0.08 um, in, in Q3 2012. But generally, the downstream sector uh, uh, is, is, is messy right now. It's messy. Mm. Even most of the bad loans uh, um, the, the banks have been forced to make to provide for. In the recent in quarter, as a result of the exposure to the oil, to the downstream oil sector, so until we have clarity, particularly for the petroleum industry bill, we will continue to see, you know, the you know the lack of interest and, and the apathy from investors towards that so sector. So, how are your clients viewing this sector right now? I mean, some may suggest it's a buying opportunity. The likes of Orlando trading close to a year low. I remember Orlando used to trade well over 100 naira. Now it's closer to 10 naira. So it has definitely come down quite a bit. Is that a buying opportunity for some people that see perhaps? in the medium term or medium to long term some recovery in that sector uh, for one though most of our clients will see that it's not a touch uh, a you know they distance themselves from that stock um mm. you know wando has a lot of um, um, I don't know why, you know, but a lot of people just do not seem to buy the idea of management that they've expanded capacity and um, the huge depth in their book is supposed to meant is, is meant, you know, to help you know the company's earnings in the future. And it's understandable, as I said earlier on, the petroleum industry bill is becoming messy. It's not, you know, the attention that is needed is not given to it by the legislators, and people are just wondering when is this going to end? You know, when is this all? When is this circle of corruption of whole theft in the all in the whole industry going to stop? So until we have clarity. 
the strongest boost for that sector will be if the petroleum industry bill is given the proper attention, if, if the gray areas are clarified by the interested parties, and if that bill is passed into an act and signed by the president, people will continue to you know, distance themselves away from that, from, that, from that particular sector. All right, so outside that sector, what are you advising clients to look into? Short term, medium term, which stocks are looking exciting for you? I know you perhaps mentioned the banks, but maybe on top of that, which other stocks are looking good for you? Uh, Cadbury, Cadbury, Cadbury looks, still looks good for me to end the year. Um, Glaxo Smith Klein, as I mentioned earlier, I'm caught up the floats in, 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 the, in the market, of course. Um, not particularly interesting for me because you may not have actual quantity that you want to buy in the market because of limited float. Um, another stock I'm looking at, the UACN, is, is strong. Uh, I think the company still has a lot of upside potential. Um, um, of course, uh, Zedit Bank, Hassel Bank, Diamond Bank as well. 